It's Kim Kenny, and today I'm going to show you how to bake a couple of versions of some healthier cookies. Um, everybody has a fix for cookies. Everybody loves cookies. Who doesn't? But today I would like to show you a couple of healthier ones, one of them being a double chocolate chip cookie. Now, I can eat chocolate chip cookies until they're coming out of my ears, and I have. <laughs> But I'm going to show you a version that uses cannellini beans. Now, cannellini beans are a white bean. It's a white kidney bean, basic, basically. But they're pretty flavorless. So it's a really good base to use for healthier cooking. You can use it for baking, like, let's say, a banana bread or something. Instead of flour, you can use cannellini beans. Um, I rinsed a cup of cannellini beans, and I drained them. And I have them in my little mini processor here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some agave syrup. Agave syrup is good because it's a little bit lower on the glycemic index. Uh, for those of you that are watching your blood sugar, um, that's pretty important. I'm going to add some cocoa powder. This is what gives it that real good chocolatey flavor. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Throw that in the bowl. And I'm going to... Ooh! <laughs> Cocoa powder just shot out at me. I'm going to process this until it's nice and smooth. Bear with me for the noise. I apologize. I guess that's not too bad. Just keep processing for a little while until it's nice and smooth and the cannellini beans are no longer chunky. Everything is going to be incorporated. Let's see how that is. That's pretty good. I'm just going to scrape it down a little bit. Take the blade out too. I might as well. I don't need it anymore. All right. So now you have this thick mixture. It's very thick. And what I'm going to do next is take a bowl. I have some egg whites, three large egg whites. I'm going to throw that in the bowl. And I have to get my mixer because I forgot to get it out. Sometimes we're not all as prepared as we like to be. <laughs> I did want to get this done ahead of time, but oh well, life goes on, right? Okay, so if I can get it plugged in and running, today's one of those days that everything I did didn't work out well. Don't you have those days once in a while? <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is beat these egg whites to soft peaks. It only takes, it's not going to take very long. And once again, I'm sorry for the noise, but you see they're already nice and fluffy. So. Okay, these are soft peaks right now, so what I'm going to do is I have some sweetener that I like to use. It's not sugar. I prefer not to use sugar myself. You can use sugar if you like. It just depends on how much you use. This sweetener just happens to be twice the sweetness of sugar, and I don't like my cookies to be very sweet, so you can always adjust the sweetness. Some people like to have sweet cookies. Um, so I'm just going to use a third of a cup of the sweetener. You could use a half a cup if you like it sweet. I don't really like it that sweet, so I'm only going to use a third of a cup. And I'm going to incorporate it while beating this so until it stiff peaks.
so that's good. That's stiff enough for me. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about a third of the egg white mixture, and I'm going to mix it directly into the chocolate mixture. just to get it a little bit easier to mix, because I'm going to combine the two together in a little while, as soon as I get this a little bit mixed. All right, that's good. Now I'm going to slowly fold it in batches with the egg white mixture. quite fluffy. You're not going to think that this is actually going to be a cookie dough, but it works. It's pretty pretty incredible if you ask me. I'm going to take the rest of it, fold it in, and just before it's completely folded, I'm going to fold in some, um, I have some dark chocolate chips, mini chips, I like to use. I like the mini ones because this is a very light batter and I don't like the heaviness of regular sized chocolate chips. They kind of tend to fall to the bottom of the cookie dough. Okay, so that's folded together. And what I'm gonna do is take a baking sheet. I have a baking sheet here lined with parchment paper and I just lightly sprayed it with cooking spray. And I'm gonna take spoonfuls of this really light fluffy dough and I'm just going to plop it onto the cookie sheet like this. And you can make the cookies any size you want. You can make them really little. I like a big cookie. <laughs> I, I think that way I can just grab one cookie and munch on it for a while instead of grabbing a few. So you get the gist. I'm not going to do the whole batch. This makes about 10 large cookies. And then what I like to do is I like to take a couple of extra chocolate chips. These are the larger ones and just put them on top like this. Just to decorate them a little bit. So that you know that it's a chocolate chip cookie. All right, so that's good. So that's the cookie. So you put it in a 375 oven for about 20 minutes or so. You're gonna rotate the uh, cookie tray halfway in between cooking and just make sure they just don't burn. So it's approximately 20 minutes. It just depends on how hot your oven cooks. So I have made some for you in advance so we don't have to wait for them to cook. Nobody likes to wait for their cookies. And here they are. These are light, very fluffy, very chocolatey. They're delicious, actually. Yum. And you would never know that they're made with cannellini beans. Your kids would never know. It's a good way to get extra fiber and protein into their diet. Okay, I have one more cookie I'm gonna show you. If you like granola bars, you're going to love these cookies. It's basically a granola bar in a cookie shape. And what I've done is I've taken rolled oats. I'm only gonna make a half a batch here because I already made a half a batch for you to show you later. Um, so I took some rolled oats, toasted them in a frying pan over low heat, stirring them on occasion. Make sure they don't burn, don't walk away because they will burn on you. And I just toasted them up until they were nice and fragrant and a little, little bit browned. So I'm going to put that in a bowl. I have some toasted wheat germ. I'm going to put that in there. And it, you can buy it already toasted. I have some walnuts. You could use any kind of nut you want. I chose walnuts, chopped. I have some dried cranberries, which you could use raisins. You can use apricots. You can use any kind of dried fruit you want. You can use a combination of fruits, too. I have a little bit of brown sugar. 
have some honey. And I'll have the recipe for you at the bottom of this video so you can, you can write it down. I'm only making a half a batch here, so I didn't want to confuse you with the amounts. Okay, got the honey in there. And I have some cinnamon and some, a little bit of salt. I'm going to mix that all around, get it nice incorporated. And then I have a little bit of vegetable oil, some sort of a neutral oil. And egg white. Pour that in there too. Now you're going to mix that until it's well incorporated. This isn't really a dough like a regular cookie dough. It's going to be very crumbly. It's going to be sticky because of the honey. As soon as, that, as, soon as the oats are all covered with the honey and the egg white and the oil, then it's ready to be put on a cookie sheet. Okay. Since I already made a whole half a batch for you, I just have a small cookie sheet here. So what I like to use is my handy dandy little, I don't know, cookie scoop, I guess is what you call it. You could use it for meatballs too. It's great for meatballs. So I'm going to take, and I'm going to pack it in there. Really pack it well. And then just, as you lay it on the sheet, pack it down so it, it doesn't fall apart. And you just mound it up. Try to do it so you can, I'll do it up here so you can see. Oops, that one fell apart. All right, I'm not going to go through this whole thing so that you don't have to wait and watch me fumble around while I try to make these cookies. <laughs> so, but you get the gist. You put it on the cookie sheet. You're going to bake these at a lower oven at 325 for about 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes. You got to check them, rotate them in between and check them to make sure they don't start to burn because the edges will burn a little bit. Uh, on you really really quickly so check them after about 20 minutes so what you get are these fabulous little granola cookies they're chewy and crunchy at the same time mm. wow they're really really good you could take these, they, they pack really well because they don't fall apart. You could take a couple in a baggie, throw them, have them as a snack. They freeze really well. So you can make a big batch and just keep them in the freezer and take a few out at a time as you like. I'm going to assume the chocolate chip cookies freeze well too. I've never frozen them before, but might as well give it a try for that time that you have a chocolate fix. You're sitting in the living room going, hmm, I wish I had a little piece of chocolate. Go run into the freezer and grab one of these. That's a good idea. I think I'm going to do that. So I just made two really easy and fast cookie recipes. And they're delicious, too, not to mention. Nobody would know that these were made out of beans. These are very high-protein type energy let's say energy bars because it's a, it is basically a granola bar but it's just in a cookie form so i hope you try this i will post my recipe under the video and happy baking <laughs>